mycotic aneurysms. Generally by listening the word mycotic, you will think immediately about fungal infections, right? Or you will think aneurysms may be because of the infiltration of the fungi. But actually this word is a misnomer over here. Even though we are calling it as a mycotic aneurysm, which means it is an infectious aneurysm only, but it is not most commonly due to fungal infections. Because the most common cause of the mycotic aneurysms are bacterial in nature. So there is a reason the word mycotic aneurysm is actually a misnomer. So an aneurysm that is secondary to the weakening of the vessel wall due to an infection is called as mycotic aneurysm which means who is the culprit here? The organisms. The organisms most commonly are bacteria and others are fungi. Fungal infections also have a role in development of mycotic but they are not considered to be the most common pathogen. So the most common pathogen to take part in the development of uh, this mycotic aneurysms is the staphylococcal aureus. This is the important MCQ point. Staphylococcal aureus is the most common pathogen for the development of mycotic aneurysms. Other than the Staphylococcus aureus, there are other species like Staph aureus, that is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, Staph epidermidis, right, Salmonella, Streptococcus pneumonia, all these bacteria can also cause these mycotic aneurysms. And these are the aneurysms which are more commonly due to bacteria. And mycotic aneurysms can also be developed because of fungal infections. So the fungal arterial infections, for example, if you see the pathogens include Candida, Cryptococcus, Aspergillus, these are the organisms actually more commonly can cause fungal arterial infections. So even though they are rare when compared to that of bacterial infections, but these fungal infections associated mycotic aneurysms are more commonly seen in the patients with immune suppression. So immune suppression means like diabetes mellitus, HIV, right? In any other conditions where immune system is compromised, in such conditions, the patient may develop these mycotic aneurysms associated with fungal infections. But in general, the most common cause of these mycotic aneurysms are bacterial, right? Yeah. And in that also, what is the most common pathogen? If they ask you, your answer should be Staphylococcus aureus. Now, after discussing about what is the most common pathogen, next question will be, what is the most common site of mycotic aneurysms. The most common artery to be involved or the most common site of mycotic aneurysms will be the femoral artery. So femoral artery is the most common artery or the most common site for mycotic aneurysms. So after the femoral artery, what is the second most common artery? Also sometimes you will see in the exam or other arteries which are involved, abdominal aorta. So abdominal aorta is considered to be the second most common anatomical location or the artery to be associated with mycotic aneurysms. And after this, after the abdominal aorta, other arteries are intracranial arteries or the visceral arteries. Now when we discuss about visceral arteries in mycotic aneurysms, what is the most common visceral artery to be involved in mycotic aneurysms? It is the coronary arteries. So coronary artery is the most common visceral artery to be seen in mycotic aneurysms. So this is what you will see in the exam. What is the most common pathogen? Staphylococcus aureus. What is the most common site? Femoral artery. What is the second most common site? Abdominal aorta. What is the most common visceral artery? Coronary artery, right? So all these are the important MCQ points you always have to remember related to the mycotic aneurysms. Okay, now we know that 
So these aneurysms are because of infections, right? So the classical presentation of the infected aneurysm, whether it may be bacterial or fungal, even though most commonly due to bacterial. So the clinical presentation is associated with a painful pulsatile as well as enlarging mass together with the systemic features of infection. What are the systemic features of infection? Fever. So whenever an pulsatile mass, right, with a fever, like the classical systemic features are associated. So you should say that, okay, these aneurysms are infectious in nature, mycotic aneurysms. So this presentation is more likely to be found, especially for infected aneurysms that are superficial in location. When we say superficial in location, we know that what is the most common artery will be the femoral artery, right? So this is how you need to identify these mycotic aneurysms. Now, when we specifically talk about infected aortic aneurysms, so these infected aortic aneurysms must be differentiated from inflammatory aortic aneurysms, which have a similar clinical features such as fever, weight loss, as well as a non-specific abdominal pain, as well as elevated ESR, all these are seen. But the inflammatory aneurysms are characterized by an inflammatory infiltrate in the aortic adventitia that is associated with adventitial fibrosis, but it is not seen with infectious aortic aneurysms. So whenever you see the adventitial fibrosis, more commonly you should think that yes, it is due to an inflammatory associated uh, abdominal aortic aneurysms. But if it is infectious abdominal aortic aneurysm that is mycotic in nature, more commonly you will not see the adventitial fibrosis because there is no much inflammatory infiltrate. Because inflammation also can cause fever, infection also can cause fever. That is the reason in both the condition clinical presentation is same. The important differentiating feature will be an adventitial fibrosis when you try to differentiate between the infectious one as well as inflammatory one. Now, what are the diagnostic signs? The diagnostic signs on abdominal computer tomography is actually the one help to differentiate between infectious versus inflammatory. That is the reason the diagnostic signs, especially on the abdominal computer tomography, CT scan of the abdomen, actually the one which helps to differentiate between the mycotic aneurysms versus the aneurysm of the abdominal aorta associated with inflammation. So by this we completed the module called as the mycotic aneurysm.